Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Quite a while ago, I did a tutorial on how to make this futuristic gleaming metallic text floating in deep space. I redid it to make it simpler and faster. This document is 1920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. I'm choosing a font called Terminator Real NFI. I provided this font for you to download. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install fonts, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. Click on the color box and choose a rich color. I'm choosing 1732 FF. Click on your document and type out your text. To reposition it, call up your move tool, click on your text and move it. Click on the FX icon and choose inner shadow. The blend mode is multiply and the opacity 40 percent. We'll make the distance 20 pixels, the choke 30 percent, and the size 14 pixels. Depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your text, you may want to adjust these numbers. Go to your text layer, press Control or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. We'll contract the selection by 12 pixels. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Click on the foreground color and choose a similar but lighter color. I'm choosing 159FFF. To fill this selection with that color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Then delete the selection by pressing Control or Command D. We'll rename this contracted text Inner and the original full text Outer. Double click on the inner layer to call up its layer style window. Click on Inner Shadow and make the opacity 100%. Click on the color box and I'll choose 0F3CFF. Make the distance 0, the choke 42%, and the size 13 pixels. Click Drop Shadow. Make the distance 0, the spread 30%, and the size 10 pixels. Again, you may want to adjust these numbers for your text. Hide the background by clicking off its eyeball and press Control shift alt e or command shift option e on a Mac to make a composite snapshot of the text. Click back on the eyeball of the background to make it visible. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open up Sketch and choose Chrome. I'll choose Detail 1 and Smoothness 0. Experiment with different numbers to get just the right effect you like. Click OK and press Control shift l on a PC or Command Shift L on a Mac to invoke auto levels. We'll change the blend mode from normal to vivid light. Click the background to make it active. We want to fill it with black. If your foreground color isn't black, press D to make your foreground and background colors default to black and white respectively. Then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with black. Let's make the text float in deep space. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 100, Gaussian, and Monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it by 0.3 pixels. Press Control or Command plus L to call up the Levels window. Make the input shadows 213, and the input highlights 232. Next, we'll give it a lens flare. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer and fill it with black. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Make the brightness about 140 percent and the lens type 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. Let's place the lens flare in the upper left corner. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. Check Colorize and make the Hue 228 and the Saturation 100. We need to make the stars show through, so click on the Lens Flare layer and change the Blend Mode to Screen. 
Using these techniques, have fun creating high-tech, gleaming metallic text floating in deep space. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.